afternoon and welcome once again to the IPSC Visual Art Fest. Hum Ek Hain Harmony Phase 2 hosted by Rajmata Krishna Kumari Girls Public School, Jodhpur. Present all the spectrum of art with the amalgamation of creativity and innovation. All harmony and no variety is boring as variety is the spice of life. Variety is the principle of art that adds interest to an artwork. Variety works through juxtaposition and contrast. When an artist places different visual elements next to one another, he or she is using variety. Straight lines next to curvy lines add variety. Organic shapes among geometric shapes add variety. Bright colors used next to dull colors add variety. So here we are with a basket full of variety to bring out the best of talent, creativity and imagination balancing perfectly with the palette of hues in phase 2 to sway your thoughts and boggle your brain to figure out the deep-rooted perception of each student behind their artwork including cartooning, mandala and the string art. Over to Mihai to acquaint all of us with the judges for phase 2. Thank you, Anika. Others have seen what is and asked why. I have seen what could be and asked why not. Artists have structurally different brains compared with non-artists, a study has found. Artists can present narrative in many ways by using a series of images representing moments in a story or by selecting a central moment to stand for the whole story. Every artist has a story to tell. It depends on the title the artist has given themselves, such as writer, designer, creator and so on. So on this note, let me introduce to you all our esteemed panel of judges, extraordinary and exceptionally talented with phenomenal contribution to the field of art. Our first judge for the line of events, featuring into phase 2, is Mr. Mon Pal. Hailing from the prestigious Satyajit Ray Film School, Mr. Mon has passion into filmmaking. Creative, innovative and brilliant thinker, Sir is a writer, director, editor and script advisor for Digital Clay Animation Studios, Mumbai. Sir is contributing in every way possible to guide and motivate the young generation. He teaches script writing, film production and editing at reputed media institutions including Atlas School of Film and Animation. Sir has been recipient of many awards and prestigious titles. JBCN International and St. Paul's Institute of Communication Education has also mentored and conducted workshops for Leelawati Bai, Bodar, High School and Writers Unplugged. Sir was one of the master mentors of Season 2 of Bhor Ke Samvad by Kala Kabab or Kisse. A very popular name in celluloid world as his films have been screened in IIIFF Spain, MIFF Kolkata, People's Film Festival, KIFF, MAMI and apart from all this, Sir's documentary was selected for CILECT. Sir was a finalist for Cinerize 2016 Script Lab and awarded with the best young film critic at the 13th Mumbai Film Festival. A storyteller, an accomplished writer, an aesthetic inventor, Mr. Pal has been shaping young minds and continuing to scale greater heights into the field of art. We greet you wholeheartedly, sir. Over to Reed. Our next judge for the phase two is Mr. Bichar Bian, Bachelor of Fine Arts and Master of Fine Arts from Kaaba, Mysore University. Sir is a skilled and experienced 3D professional with 15 plus years of combined experience in production and gaming. With 10 plus years in traditional art clay, sculpting, stone, metal, painting, illustration, landscape gardening, restoration, installation art and intermediate knowledge on various special effects makeup. Part of creating the syllabus for digital art for Karnataka Chitrakala Parishad and University of Mysore. Sir has also been a part of Association of Bangalore Animation Industry as EC member. 
Sir even worked as a personal sculptor for late Sri Kanta Datta Narasimha Raja Wadeyar, Maharaja of Mysore. A storehouse of knowledge, Sir has been interviewed by many renowned publications. He is the recipient of many awards and accolades like CG Society Featured Award, 3D Total Excellence Award, Excellence Leadership Award, 3D Total Gallery Award, to name just a few. Sir conducted workshops, seminars, discussions to inspire the young artists. Skilling for creative independence in media and entertainment industry, which was organized by MESC 2021. Kala Brook School of Art and Animation 2021, Zebra Summit 2020, Importance of Art Direction in the Game Asset Creation Process, Journey from the Traditional Art to the Digital World, Eco Friendly Ganesha Clay Sculpting Workshop, Event Organized by Arena Animation Malay Swaram Bangalore 2018, and the list goes on and on. We are honored to have you amidst us today. Our next judge for the day is Mr. Ashish Ghosh. Art completes what nature cannot bring to finish. The artist gives us knowledge of nature's unreleased ends. Such is the ideology of Mr. Ghosh, and it is easily visible in his many nature-related art pieces. Mr. Ashish Ghosh from the State of Poetry and Art, West Bengal, with BFA in Sculpture from Kala Bhavan Vishwa Bharti, Diploma in Woodwork from Silpa Sadan Sriniketan, MFA Sculptures from Kala Bhavan Vishwa Bharti. Sir has worked as a lecturer in the College of Art and Design, Burdwan University, West Bengal, and as an assistant professor, Vishwa Bharti University, Shanti Niketan an intellectual who's contributing in all possible ways by conducting exhibitions and art workshops. A true Indian by heart, Sir has represented our country across the globe. Recipient of many prestigious awards and scholarships, Sir has been awarded with Iconic Education Award, SAT Icon Award by Suman Art Theatres and Cultural Event Organization. Rewarded as Golden Artist of the Year by INFES Guwahati University. Awarded with National Scholarship from Government of India. Promising Artist by Indian Habitat Center and the list of his achievements knows no ends. We are blessed to have you amidst us today, sir. We all welcome you once again. We are indeed grateful to you all for sparing your valuable time and contributing to the illustration of visual skill of our young amateur artists who are still in the learning phase of perfection. So let me call upon Advitya to initiate the first event of Phase 2. Thank you, Fuhani. The first event for Phase 2 is cartooning. Cartooning is a simple yet powerful and fun way to express yourself through art. It is impossible to say how to become a cartoonist. You have to be born with a gift. Just as you cannot tell someone how to think. Quote unquote, R.K. Lakshman. With this, I would like to call upon the first judge for phase two, Mr. Monpal, to lead us all through his stories of experience. Hello everyone, my name is Monpal. I'm an independent filmmaker currently based in Mumbai. The world is always looking for new talent. We're constantly looking for the next big thing. And if anything else, creativity is exactly what everyone is looking for. But if you're confused and if you're not quite sure, or if you know that there's a certain stream that you would like to push for, I invite you to have a look at graphic design. In terms of everything that we look at, in terms of what people are looking for, we are constantly in need of a visual style and communication that immediately tells me who you are and why we should pick you. If you have some amount of your time and some amount of your investment built into understanding the basics of how something is composed, treated, framed, and even in terms of color and design handled visually, in order to communicate your messages. Whether you are working on 
social media, whether you're working in filmmaking, whether you're working in animation, whether you're working even in color and layout design, or in photography, or in cinematography. No matter where you're going, you're always going to notice that the people who get seen, the people who get heard the most, are the people who get talked about the most. These people have a very firm grasp in the things that they are good at, and also they're very good at explaining and showing, showcasing their own work. Graphic design is one aspect of this work. You could be very good at talking to it. You could be very good at handling social connections. You could be very good at finance or management. But unless your work speaks for itself, you will find yourself always cut short of the crowd. So if you are looking forward to working in an industry in any way, shape or form that uses some form of the medium, that uses some form of whether it is journalism, whether it is non-fiction, whether it is filmmaking or game design, no matter where you go, you need to find out how best to make graphic sense and graphic design a part of your portfolio. So this, right now, is going to be a big opportunity for you. This will be a good way to showcase what your creative talent is. And let me start by telling you that it is not so difficult. It's very simple. Everything about graphic design, everything whether we're making a poster digitally, whether it has animation aspects to it, whether you're going to sit down and use After Effects, or even if you are going to um, sit down, use actual paints, uh, create an entire collage, which you will then photograph and then use digitally onto your medium, no matter what methods you take, as long as you can say something that you want to say, bringing out the color and the aspects and everything that it is that makes you you as long as you can do that then you'll get much further than anybody else so what i will suggest especially for people who are interested in working in the creative fields even if you're not a hundred percent sure whether or not people will like your work even if you are not hundred percent sure if you know the software well enough don't worry just give it a shot. I cannot tell you of how many people who have benefited from understanding just basic layout, cover design, um, graphic design, and how much that has helped them in so many of their varied fields. And this is not a new thing. People have been doing this for a long time. In particular, if I talk about one of the greatest filmmakers in history, who is also Indian, Shotir Rai, who is uh, considered one of the greatest filmmakers uh, abroad as well. He didn't start out as a filmmaker. He started out as a graphic designer. He started out as a commercial artist, is what is what they were known as at the time. His understanding of film comes visually and narratively. So when he started out, he had a clear, distinct idea of all of his films, including, say, something as pivotal as Pothepaji, which is um, from the Oppo trilogy, very well known and very well regarded in terms of Indian parallel cinema movement. Um, that started out as a few sketches which he had once mentioned uh, originate from his mind of the book that Patapadji was, but he had to put it down onto paper. And his experience of working in the industry, working in the commercial side of things, allowed him to put it onto paper in a way that he could explain in the best way possible. These original few sketches, these original few projects that he had done, helped him frame the entirety that Patil Pachiri was. And he didn't have an actual education background in terms of commercial art, no. But he was perfect for what he managed to do with Patil Pachiri. Because of his experience working in the industry, because of his experience of good design, he could lend Pothepanchali a certain flair that was not just his ability to take a story, it was not just his ability to take um, characters from a book and give them, breathe them life uh, into the, his actors, which were equally true, but is also his sense of visual design that aided him. And that is just one example of a of a great artist that has come about from understanding just basic design.
So how do you get started? Here's what I suggest. When we are getting started with the poster design contest, um, give it your all. Don't worry about whether or not it's going to make sense. Don't worry about whether or not it's going to look as good as everybody else's. That's not the point. As long as you can provide a sense of meaning that you feel intensely, then it will be seen. Good work will always find a way of showcasing itself. This is something that I've, I've felt very honestly, is that if you do good work, you don't have to worry about sending it across. Of course, you should be doing it as much as possible. But good work can sometimes find the energy to be known by itself. It could stand out of a crowd by itself. But you don't do good work from trying to do good work. You do good work simply because you are trying your best. You don't have to do a perfect job. You just have to try doing your best. And that is it. That's the kicker. That's the secret. So I hope that you take this opportunity and try to give it your best. And I wish you all the luck. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys have for me. Bye for now. Thank you, Phil. Your words mean a lot to us. Generally, people take everything for granted. They hardly see anything around them. So let us all figure out, through the cartoons, what story and joke our participants have tried to narrate.
are all familiar with cartoons, be it in newspapers, magazines, web illustrations, comic books. And the fact remains that they provide us with comic relief after a long day. So let us witness what our young cartoonists trying to convey through their cartoons. What a wonderful display of entries. Kudos to all. Every one of my drawing is my favorite. Quote unquote, R.K. Lakshman. We indeed appreciate and acknowledge each and every artwork displayed just before us, but few who have succeeded to bring ripples of laughter are under the category of Creative Art Award. The proud winner is Honorable Mention goes to Jury's Choice Award is being grabbed by High Commendation goes to People's Choice Award is being offered to Special Commendation goes to Promising Young Artist is awarded to Future Generation Art Award goes to Artist Beyond the Boundaries belongs to Best Presentation or Work of Art if being grabbed by Kindly note, an e-certificate would be provided to all the participants. Over to Reep to lead off to the next event. Thank you, Advitya. The next event in phase two is Mandala. A mandala generally represents the spiritual journey. 
starting from outside to the inner core through layers. To tell us more about art forms, I would like to call upon our next judge for the morning, Mr. Vichar Vian. Hello everyone, uh, it's a very proud moment to be part of this event organized by Rajmata Krishna Kumari Institute. Today I'll be talking about digital art. What is digital art? Digital art is advanced sculpting using technology and uh, digital software. So it takes the artist uh, experience to very uh, next level. So digital art widely used in many industry, more in animation. In animation, uh, there are several uh, uh, genres, example, uh, gaming, uh, visual effects, uh, and uh, TV series, and uh, for, uh, you know, short movies. So there are uh, different uh, genres of movie making and all digital uh, sculpting and digital modeling is being used. So uh, let me uh, uh, give you a little insight about how digital sculpting has been done. So digital sculpting uh, is a software based on uh, real uh, sculpting uh, knowledge. It has been built around the uh, traditional uh, sculpting approach. So you can uh, work like a clay, you can build, uh, you know, a, a subtract, you can add, polish it. So it's, it helps the artist to create sculpture in very fast. And uh, the advantage of having digital sculpting is the clay never dries there. So you can uh, keep on sculpting until unless you get the desired look and feel. And also it uh, helps you to, uh, you know, push the uh, limitation because there is no uh, barrier here. When you're working in clay, what happens is you have to be very conscious about the clay not drying and you have to take care of that, you know, the moisture, everything. So in digital sculpting, you never have to worry about that. You only need to focus what is there in your visual or uh, uh, thought that you can, you know, transform into a digital sculpting. Uh, what you're seeing in my screen is all created in digital sculpting. Uh, using ZBrush. ZBrush is a software widely used in our industry, uh, in animation industry, as well as prototyping, even in uh, medical. So it, it's so uh, easy to sculpt in digital. It, you can go very granular level. If you see this, you can even uh, get the fingerprints sculpted way faster. It saves a lot of time uh, compared to traditional sculpting. So nowadays, uh, digital art is helping to, uh, you know, digital sculpting uh, is helping, uh, you know, the sculptors to imagine uh, uh, and, you know, take his experience to very uh, next level. And it all works on the principle of traditional sculpting. So example, like if I want to do a free uh, uh, floating sculpture, it's very tough to, uh, you know, create certain uh, sculptures in that fashion. So in digital art, there's no limitation. I can uh, sculpt it as uh, how uh, you know as I feel so that is the advantage and second thing is uh, you know it gives you the visual experience like before I have to uh, uh, do a installation or I have to install uh, in a very big place I know how it behaves to the light play of light and you know uh, the volumetric everything I can you know uh, prejudge everything in digital sculpting so and it's very easy, handy, and uh, nowadays technology has grown so much. You can even uh, uh, view it in your mobile also. So that is the strength of digital sculpting. And uh, it's always uh, as a sculptor, it's always uh, you know rather than showing an image, it's always nice to show your sculpture in three dimension, or the spectator can uh, you know rotate and see your sculpture in all angles. So that is the advantage using this technology. And now the, te uh, the, the technology has gone to the very next level where you can 3D print it. The, uh, virtually I'm not seeing, but physically I can feel it. So that's the technology in the uh, next, in the future, everyone are using uh, 3D printing uh, uh, life size or uh, more bigger than that. So uh, they'll create in digital first and then they do a CNC or 3D printing. So it's quite popular uh, nowadays in the digital sculpting uh, industry. So uh, it's going to be the, uh, you know, game changer. I would, uh, I, I say it would be a game changer in the future. So 
you could see that it's way way faster you could get all this result but uh, as i said you need to have very good understanding of traditional uh, uh, sculpting knowledge and traditional art that is the backbone for the digital art digital tool just supports you but what is more important is the understanding of uh, you know traditional art you have to train your eyes uh, you uh, you know shape volume and you need to know that uh, you know the tactileness in uh, traditional uh, art that will transform into digital so that is uh, you know the bridge uh, which uh, helps you to master in digital sculpting so uh, the, it's a vast subject and it has lot of possibilities and there are a lot of ways to create sculpt uh, in digital art and digital sculpting so uh, uh, i uh, wish you guys all uh, you know get an opportunity to try this it's a very fun uh, to work with and uh, you know you can uh, uh, sky is the limit i would say uh, uh, you know you can take your uh, creativity to very next level using digital sculpting so uh, i would like to uh, uh, thank uh, rajmata krishna kumari institute for giving me this wonderful opportunity and uh, best of luck for everyone thank you thank you sir it was indeed interesting to know more about art forms and learn from them drawing and coloring a mandala can be a highly enriching personal experience in which you look inside yourself and find the shapes colors and patterns to represent anything from your current state of your mind to your most deeply desired wish for yourself or for humanity with this we present to you all the efforts put in by our artists in different places
was a brilliant representation of wholeness, totality, infinity, timelessness and unity. Let us all venture through an array of symbols, shapes and forms of mandala art and treasure the art forms. thing about designing your own mandala is that you have the freedom to choose whatever shapes and colors that you feel express your sense of self and your view of reality. Your mandala is yours and you have the freedom to use your creativity to create a mandala drawing that is uniquely you. So the few who could uniquely design their mandala in the unique way deserved the acknowledgement. Under the category of Creative Art Award, the proud winner is... Honorable Mention goes to... Jury's Choice Award is been grabbed by... High Commendation goes to... People's Choice Award is been offered to Special Commendation is rewarded to Promising Young Artist Award is awarded to Future Generation Art Award is achieved by Artist Beyond the Boundaries Award has been offered to Best Presentation or the Work of Art belongs to Kindly note, an e-certificate will be provided to all participants. God is the greatest artist to whom no one can compare. Streaking sunsets very beautiful, painting rainbows in the air, brushing green the hillside scene, blotting blue the sky above, 
splashing flowers across the ground beneath, shading white clouds with his glove. Undoubtedly, वो जो बैठा वहाँ कमाल का चित्रकार है May I invite Suhani to take us a little further and tell us about the next event in store for all of us? Thank you, Reet. The event we will witness now is string art. String art or pin and thread art is characterized by an arrangement of colored threads strung between points to form geometric patterns or representational designs. May I have the pleasure to call upon Mr. Ashish Ghosh to throw some light upon the technicality of delicate art forms and enlighten us with his words of wisdom. Hello, my friend. Today we will discuss about uh, the sculpture. The word sculpture comes from um, the word scoop it out, scoop to root. That is the word. Uh, basically, it is a Greek word which means uh, scoop it out, means uh, to uh, curve uh, something. Uh, basically, when we talk about sculpture, first we know how uh, it comes. Uh, when human beings civilized, uh, they create a few things uh, from hard materials like stone, wood, or like that. So first, uh, the sculpture uh, definition uh, comes with uh, the cutting or adding uh, with some materials. So uh, if we uh, look on our past, uh, we can see the human being start uh, sculpting or uh, creating uh, some sculpture with mythology. Like uh, first we uh, try to create some god and goddesses uh, all over the world. Uh, if uh, you have uh, looked uh, our previous history, you can see we create some god and goddesses, temples like uh, and other uh, things uh, with uh, stone or sometimes wood, later on in bronze. But normally sculpture we'll make with uh, hard material. Uh, like stone, wood, or later on it will uh, add it with uh, clay as well as ceramics, uh, any other uh, materials. And uh, for sculpture it must be a uh, three dimensional form, means it has some shape, size. It may be small or it may be big. Thank you, sir. It was surprising to know how a mere small article could be used as an art medium. For those with experience crafting handmade designs, you know how important it is to pay attention to every detail.
Every step of the process must be approached with gentle hands, a sharp mind to ensure the desired result. The same goes for string art. Through this unique art form, you have the opportunity to bring your ideas to life. Without further delay, let us take a look at the depiction of this art form by a bunch of talents from different parts of our country. How they try to stretch their string to bring life to their idea.
Like with any other craft, you want to make sure that your finished design is an accurate representation of how you originally pictured it. The best way to do so is to use materials that can make your string art design stand out from the rest. These creations attract a global audience with an appreciation for intricate design. With this, we present before you all the work of our artisans who executed this string uniquely. It was indeed a pictorial symphony where one thread was woven into another and fostered the essence of oneness. Like that of our nation, where we might represent different parts of our country, but always take pride in saying, Ek hai, hum Hindustani. All participants had presented fine delicacy of the material through their artwork, and those who left mark on the judges are under the category of Creative Art Award, the winner is Honorable Mention goes to Jury's Choice Award has been backed by High Commendation goes to People's Choice Award is being offered to Special Commendation goes to Promising Young Artist goes to Future Generation Art Award goes to Artist Beyond the Boundary belongs to Best Presentation, a work of art, goes to Kindly note, an e-certificate will be provided to all the winners. Kudos to all the participants. Over to Mehai. Thank you, Suhani. With this, we have come to an end. Art is not the possession of the few who are recognized writers, painters, musicians. It is the authentic expression of any and all individuality. Today, humanity is facing major global challenges that are transitional in nature and transinstitutional in solution. The world is getting richer, healthier, better educated, more peaceful and better connected. And people are living longer. Yet, half the world is potentially unstable. Sab ki zubaan par insaniyat ki baat ho. Dil mein preet aur masoomiyat ki baat ho. 
बहुत हो चुकी बस्तियां उजाड़ने की बातें मिलकर बसाने की नई शुरुआत हो सबकी जुबा पर इंसानियत की बात हो हर तरफ जहर नफरत तो का भरा है देश विश्वरों के फन से गिरा है दरखते रिश्तों को बचाने की बात हो सबकी जुबा पर इंसानियत की बात हो नफरतों की आग से किसको क्या मिला घर जला तेरा तो घर मेरा भी जला चलते हुए शो लो को बुझाने की बात हो सबकी जुबा पर इंसानियत की बात हो सबकी जुबा पर इंसानियत की बात हो सो लेट इस क्रिएट अ न्यू सोसाइटी वेर ईच वन ऑफ फास्ट इज द मैसेजर ऑफ पीस हु होल्ड फास्ट टू वॉट इज गुड लव वन अनादर विथ म्यूचुअल अफेक्शन लिव इन हार्मनी विथ वन अनादर Do not repay anyone evil for evil but take thought for what is noble in the sight of all if possible let us live at peace with all do not be overcome by evil but overcome evil with good only then my dear friends we will surely have a better world for our future generation to live in we convey our deepest gratitude from the depth of our heart to all the participants for participation and contributing their artwork and offering all of us a visual treat and making this event a great success with this we have come to an end of our second day and before we bid adieu let me brief you all about the third day that is the closing ceremony of this mega event which will start at a scheduled time see you all tomorrow during the closing ceremony let us all create memories and rejoice the time spent with different art forms to visualize and shape our dreams in a better way miles away yet too close to each other the virtual world has reduced the distance as at least on screen we are reachable let the world around us go helter skelter stay tuned see you all tomorrow till then goodbye au revoir sayonara me reet signing off from the compares desk